Hey guys, Sonish here with a somewhat rainy Heroes of the Storm video, I guess. I've never really noticed that it starts raining Gee, on this map when you uh, first load in. So on my team we have About Illidan, Muradin, Demon Hunter, Uther, and Raynor. And the enemy team, looks like we have Kerrigan, Illidan, Arthas, Witch Doctor, and Muradin. So, let's see. Looks like a pretty evenly stacked team. We do have more assassins oh, than the other team. And a seconds. healer, uh, which the other team does not seem to have at the moment. Five, four, so I'm going to go up top three, with uh, Raynor here. You may notice that these are two of the same guys I was playing with uh, in the last video. C uh, SAT Steve and Bartimus. So, <laughs> and also, uh, you might notice that s another guy who's been featured in a couple of my videos, Happy Addict, uh, happens to be on the other team, which is kind of a sad, sad deal. I tried to get him in our party, so they came around. Uh, they did snipe. They tried to come around and uh, catch one of us hanging out in a bush. So Happy Addict's on me is their Arthas, and we do have uh, two tanks up top versus the support and assassin up top, which I don't know... If that's necessarily a good situation for them to put themselves in. We will have a lot more sustain than they will. Although Arthas and Muradin are both incredibly tanky. Really hard to kill either of them. But we do have a ton of healing up here. Between Uther and uh, Raynor's self-heal. We, we can take a lot of damage as well. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I did pick up the medic skin for Uther. So I love this one. Uh, it's one of my favorite skins. I really do enjoy it. <clears throat> so we're trying to take down what we can up here. Looks like we blood. take first blood on bottom by killing Kerrigan. And that gives us, at the moment, it gives us about a one-third of a level lead right. on our opponents. So, a little bit of a slow start to game. Everybody's still laning. This map tends to be a little bit slower. Um, this is Cursed Hollow for anybody who's just joining us. And it tends to be a little bit of a slower map. Uh, just at the very beginning at least. Because there's nothing to force people out of their lanes. As quickly. This uh, looks like we took out Illidan in the middle. So our demon hunter is doing her job. But until that first tribute pops up. There's really nothing going on in this game. I'll, like, there's no last hitting you need to do. Um, you can try and secure some early kills. But that's about all. Looks like that tribute is going to be coming up on bottom. And looks like uh, Arthas and Muradin did abandon this lane. So I'm going to stay here and get as much experience out of this lane as possible before I go back down. Help my team out. So looks like it's three on two at the moment. Now four on two. Murden and uh, Demon Hunter really need to get out of there. See if Steve's going to go down. Bala, no. So now we have a three on four for the enemy team. I'm coming in to help out. Looks like we do take down the enemy Illidan. Uh, or enemy. That wasn't Illidan, sorry. I'm going to chase down Illidan here. So looks like enemy next is. Kiting me fairly well. I kite him right into Rainer. Looks like Happy Addict was trying to pick up the tribute. We lost Murden now, so it is two on three for us. Uh, we do have an advantage with where this one spawned. Okay, guys, don't. No, 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 don't help me out here. They need to go zone. You only need one person to pick up the tribute, so what you should do is let one person do it, and then everyone else on your team creates space push the other team back so they can't interrupt the channel so now that we do have like I was saying that tribute is actually uh, that spawn location is really good for us it gives us a nice advantage because uh, it's on our side of the map so our respawns get to it faster than the enemy team which is part of the reason we were able to secure it so looks like we have next uh, Illidan and Arthas coming up to help me out uh, right, or to fight me Raynor is back up here we say Muradin picked up some siege giants on bottom. And looks like Raynor and Vala are actually trying to take our take the siege golem. So I'm gonna kill these minions so that the enemy doesn't see me go off. 
the map, and then I'm going to go down there and help them out. I th I'm the closest thing we have to a tank, so I'm going to sit here and let the golem bash on me while I heal myself. There is a tribute spawning on the other side of the map. Uh, so I don't know if we're going to be able to secure this one. Illidan is already there for the enemy team, and looks like his team is actually creating space for him. So we wisely decide not to pursue this one. They're not critical. At least giving your enemies one tribute does not automatically equate to a loss. It's not necessarily a bad thing. They do have their siege giants up top, which are going to... They're going to negate our golem pretty heavily. We do manage to take down the gate, though. You say there's a big... There's actually a big team fight going on on the bottom I should probably be helping with. But I'm too busy pushing this golem into our enemy's... Uh, into our enemy's fort. Looks like the golem does go down. Their siege giants are still up. And Illidan is out to try and push our wave back. So we do have... The game has been pretty even so far. We have about a, maybe a fifth of a level lead on our opponents. It's a very close game so far. The next tribute is spawning up here with us. So I'm going to kill this siege giant before I go down there to make sure that he doesn't do a lot of damage to our gate and towers while we're fighting over this tribute. So looks like we have, oh, heal up uh, Rainer. And we have Demon Hunter, Rainer. Oh, our whole team is up here now. They crashed in from bottom. The enemy team only has three people here to help push us off. So looks like uh, Carradine came in and instantly dies. Probably not the best idea to engage an enemy. So this is what I'm talking about, where you only need one person to gather the tribute. Everyone else on the team should zone the enemy and keep them from getting in. So looks like uh, my team wants to go after those knights, especially because we have enemy knights incoming. It's probably a good idea. A talent. So we pick up our ultimates before the enemy team. We have a very narrow window here where we can use our ultimates and the enemy team can't. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get anything like done during that window. Our enemies are, uh, it's just too close and we don't have a lane pushed and there's no, no real reason for the enemy team to engage us in a team fight. So they, just, they have their ultimates now, which is going to make all the battles a little bit trickier. Looks like Rainer's coming in to help me out with this one. Uh, Muradin is coming up to help Arthas out, and we are back to our laning phase. So looks like there's a tribute spawning all the way on the other side of the map. Muradin has used his ultimate, so I pop mine off to get off the nice stun, and Rainer and I push them backwards. Uh, a Hyperion would have been really nice right there. It would have helped us probably secure at least one kill, if not two. Looks like we did, we did take out Kerrigan, and we took out Illidan uh, fighting over that tribute now. I'm not going to go help because I know that two of the enemies are up here. And my team already killed two of them. So no matter what, it's going to be a very... Uh, it's going to be a... My team will have an advantage no matter what, is what I'm trying to say, guys. Come on. Work with me here. So Murden comes up to prevent me to, from taking down this tower. Uh, with the curse up, they are at half health and they don't attack. So we have a full minute from when the curse starts to do as much damage to the enemy uh, forts and enemy palaces as possible. So I'm going to fire off there, just clear out the whole creep wave. So we did take down one fort. Looks like my team is actually picking up the enemy golem on bottom. Looks like, uh, oh... Muradin was blocked by the minions, but he does use his leap to get out, and then he stuns me. Destroyed. Uh, it's probably not the best place for me to be at the moment. I'm a little overextended. We did take out the bottom fort and the mid fort, so all three outer forts have been taken by uh, my team. And our level advantage is now three levels, so 11 to 14. Uh, I don't know if I can fight Illidan. This is going to be pretty rough. I do pop off the ultimate to get him out. Illidan uses his too, unfortunately. And yeah, I'm not going to be able to do anything much here to stay alive. An ally has been <laughs> so I do go down. I'm going to use my ghost to try and do as much damage as possible. I'm going to take out this creep wave. 
the curse ended. So now both teams are back to relatively even footing. Oh, we do have a pretty big lead. <clears throat> we actually managed to take out the interior, uh, one of their interior t uh, tier two forts, which makes our bottom lane minions much stronger than our opponents. Which is going to help out a lot. Maybe the golem. Oh, oh, I hope the golem can take out that cannon tower. It has 158 health left. That would have been a really nice, uh, nice pickup there, which is one last swing. But it wasn't meant to be. Justice has come. So it looks like uh, this golem is up, and Demon Hunter wants to pick it up. So we're gonna go grab that. I'm on a, I'm gonna signal that I'm on, I am on my way. And look at that! The whole team is actually pitching in to help take down the golem. Oh, that's cool. You don't see that a lot. A lot of times, the uh, when you're doing random matches, and you're just doing pub matches. The enemy team won't really show up to help you. So I just noticed our Illidan actually has the Shondo Illidan skin, which is pretty sick. I really do. I like that one a lot, too. I just love all the skins. I think Blizzard does a great job with that. Their, uh, their artists are very do some very nice work. It looks like we have the Siege Giants on bottom, and we are pushing the top lane with the Golem. Uh, looks like our enemies picked up the Knights to send middle. We do have four uh, four members of our team, Illidan Rainer, uh, Demon Hunter, and myself. That's a lot of damage. Hey, look, the tribute's up here with us. That's a great place for this tribute. That's actually the timing on this tribute is perfect because the enemy team is going to be way too busy at their front door to be able to grab the tribute. So my plan here is to wait and to stop them from getting to... Uh, to stop them from getting to Rainer. Eventually, essentially, I'm just going to be a roadblock. So Rainer's going to pick up that tribute. Here comes two of our enemies. They do cap recapture the watchtower. Their knights are still attacking the middle. Looks like we have a... Ooh, Illidan, get out of there, man. There's three of them coming for you. We're coming to help. I don't know if we're really going to be able to help. Oh, Illidan's so close to... Oh, I get a, a holy light off on Illidan! While he still died, he ended up being... It didn't end up much better for us. Okay, Rainer. There's a Hyperion. That's what we needed. Looks like we do take down the Witch Doctor. A Happy Addict is barely getting away. He fires off a Cinder Gosa. And I do... Oh, I catch him with my Holy Smite. It's like enemy Illidan is here. We have a two on four. Uh, Murden really wants to kill Demon Hunter. She's really low. Uh, probably should have been paying more attention there. Sorry, I could have saved you, Demon Hunter. My bad. But we did end up trading two for three. Uh, it's actually not. That's actually a bad thing for us to do at the moment. We give them far more experience than they give us. So trading even like trading one up even is not good for us to do at this point. We really need to be taking as many kills without dying. Because uh, we'll let them get back in the game since we give them way more experience than they give us. So it looks like after we take this tribute, I think uh, we want to take the night camp here. We're going to try and zone. Looks like Kerrigan's going to break through and interrupt the tribute, but now she's completely locked herself in a corner. Uh, she does activate her ultimate and holds us off for a bit. Looks like Muradin's trying to get away, but uh, Illidan's dash prevents that from happening. Arthas is trying to get out of here, and actually Kerrigan was just seconds too late getting... Uh, looks like Illidan's going to go down again. Um, remember, they did nerf Metamorphosis slightly in the latest patch so that uh, Illidan is not nearly as powerful as he once was. St. Like Muradin wants to pick up the mercenary camp. We're going to we're going to attack the demon hunter here. Oh, he's so close to going down. Oh, I'm out of mana. If I just had a little more mana, we could have finished him off. Uh, S oh, man. Demon hunter tries to hit him with the hungering arrow, but I think it jumped off and attacked the fort. So we did not secure that kill. It was super close. Is now we only have a two level lead about over our enemies because we keep trading evenly with them and if you keep trading evenly with your enemies when they have when you have a level advantage they will end up winning 
So I noticed that they're trying to take these uh, knights, and yeah, that's not gonna happen. Come on, Luther, just run. Looks like Kerrigan went back to secure the knights. I'm trying to get out of here as best I can. So I do use a hammer of justice and fire back a shot. Looks like the knights are gonna help me out quite a bit. Enemy Illidan jumps into our, in the middle of our team with Metamorphosis. Demon Hunter is using Strafe. We do take down Illidan. Uh, Rainer's Adrenaline Rush activates and saves his life. Oh, this is a really... Oh, no, this is a terrible situation. I've made a mistake! Oh, gosh. That was bad. Instant regret for our team. I don't think we traded... Oh, my gosh. This is a really bad... Really, really bad uh, trade for us. An ally has been slain. Yeah, we ended up team kill. losing five for three there. And the enemy team is caught up almost completely. It's 18 to 19 now. And we have Siege Giants coming in up top. So we're probably going to lose the top fort. And uh, we just lost a large chunk of our lead. So that was, a, that was pretty painful. Uh, we may not lose the fort up top. Thankfully for us, we do have knights pushing and our minions on bottom are pushing so the enemy couldn't really capitalize on taking advantage of that team kill. Especially because it happened on the other side of the map. If you do have to lose a team fight that badly, doing it on the other side of the map is probably the best thing to do. I know you can't really always choose where you lose a team fight, but if you're going to lose a team fight, lose it on the enemy's side of the map. That's all I'm going to say about that. That's all I got to say. So I want to move down. I think my enemies are going for the Grave Golem. And the Tribute is right next to them. So actually this, this might be really bad. I don't know if there's much we can do here to take this Tribute. Because I'm pretty sure the enemy team is going to be completely set up. Those Siege Giants are still up top, completely unchecked. So Kerrigan jumps in to try and uh, secure the try and secure the Tribute. And Illidan tries to zone. Unfortunately, the rest of my team happens to show up at the same time. So I fire off my Divine Storm to get off the stun to heal myself. And they managed to kill me. But I think we just did... Yep, we traded a 3 for 1. So I would take that any day of the week. I'm trying to get my team over here to take this Golem. Uh, we can end the game right here with this Golem. Especially with the curse up. Since nothing but their fort will be a, nothing but their core will be attacking. So we're gonna grab that. Looks like we have enemy knights coming up the middle. But giants, uh, siege minions, and a golem heading up the bottom lane. So and with, with three members of the enemy team dead, I don't really think they're gonna be able to fight us on this one. Looks like our golem's incoming. I don't think the golem's even gonna get there. He was really just insurance to make sure this ended. <laughs> and the beef gets stuck in midair. I think he tried to run into their fountain and got pushed back by the, by the force field and then got stuck in the air when the game ended. That's pretty good. So I hope you guys liked that video. Uh, just showing off a little bit of what Uther can do and especially his sick, sick medic skin. And I will see you guys next time.